Hey guys, and welcome back to Everything DIY. I cracked the screen on my Samsung Galaxy S3 and thought that it would be the perfect time to show you how I fix it. So uh, the tools that we're going to be using for today are adhesive, deck of cards, of course the new screen, a heat gun, and some other essentials. So if you're interested in seeing how we're going to do this, please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is remove the back, the battery, and these two cards in here. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and remove all of these screws around the edges and we'll be right back. Now that all the screws are off, I'm going to remove all the plastic pieces underneath. Okay, now I'm going to remove the motherboard and take off these pieces here. And then we're going to remove this one little black screw down here. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so the next step is to remove the screen. The process for this is pretty much we're going to take a heat gun and try and warm up the glue that's holding together the LCD and the screen. And then once it's heated up, what we can do is slip something in between them so that they separate, which in this case it's going to be this card. So as you can see, I mean, kind of starting is the hardest part, and I have a little bit of a divot already, which gives me a little bit of an advantage because I have a starting point. So I took that out, and now I'm going to start heating it up. try and slip this card in between the two and slowly work it around the edge to start working on the glue underneath. I'm starting to make some progress so I'm going to move it down and let me heat a little bit more up. And I'm just going to start pushing down and you can see it start to bubble and separate as the glue heats and shifts. Okay, a little more. Keep heating it up. And keep pushing down. And the first piece is off. Okay, on to the bigger piece. I decided to switch cards just in case. And I'm heat it up a little bit more again. And start to try and slip the new card under. the big piece is off, we're going to go ahead and 
take this off screen to clean off all the glue. All right, so we cleaned it all off with Windex and you don't need to make sure that it's super clean, just mainly free of debris. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on now and you're just gonna wanna follow the same pattern that I'm gonna do here. like that. Okay, so now we're going to just look really closely and make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And if there are, you're just going to want to drag them out with something. And I think that, yeah, that was it. Okay, so now what we need to do is put the new screen on. So take this off. Make sure you don't touch the underside. I'm just gonna grab it by the sides here in front. Okay. And what you're gonna wanna do is line it up very carefully. The top. And then let it down slowly. And then you'll see it start to spread out and just let it kind of settle. You can see that it's almost all the way into the corners. Okay. So that should be good and set, and we're gonna move on. Okay, so if you have any seeping on the sides, just clean it up with a paper towel. You probably will have to. Um, it, once you like the position that your screen is in, which ours isn't a good one right now, it's all lined up, you're gonna wanna take it out into the sun if you don't have a UV light. If you have a UV light, it'll only take about five minutes to cure, but since we don't, we're gonna put ours in the sun for about an hour. Okay, so this is what our phone looks like after having cured it in the sun for about an hour. In case there's any seepage of the adhesive, just make sure to clean all of that off before you put everything back together. Um, it looks like ours is pretty much cleaned up and ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and put everything back just the way we had taken it off. So, we'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. Everything is all put back together and in working order, so I'm happy. Screen's good, buttons are good. It really isn't as difficult as you might think to replace your own screen, and in the end it's going to cost you a lot less money. So it's pretty much just a win-win situation overall. Um, yeah, you may notice a little bit of seeping over the next few days of the adhesive, which is normal, and it'll go away, so it's really not that big a deal. Um, if you like this video, please like, and if you want to see more from us, subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions about what we did, please don't hesitate below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Um, otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye!